One of the biggest questions I get asked on this channel is about my wheels and tyres and over on Instagram. So today I'm going to be making a video about that, about my setup covering wheels, tyres, offsets and load ratings and it's all coming up right after this. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome for the first time. As I said, this video has been requested many, many times and I'm about to make uh, a video that covers my experiences, my setup, and maybe, just maybe it might help you with whatever you're thinking with your setup and the future of your van. This video isn't necessarily just uh, aimed at VWs, but a big disclaimer to say that if you're going to be perched some wheels off the back of this video anywhere, then you do need to still make further checks. Maybe you can use some of this secret formula that I'm going to put into this video shortly, which is a super helpful uh, website with um, a enabling you to be able to work out what you what you want from your vehicle by keying in some figures. But um, yeah, it's, it's just that I want to point out these are from my own opinions and experiences. So if any of this is going to, the knowledge is going to help you in your purchase or the future of your van, then great. Okay, so first thing I'm going to get into is what I am currently running because it's the biggest question and I'm sure people just want to get straight into the meat of what's on my van, what are they looking at and why. Um, so quick quick sort of uh, rollback I installed air ride on this vehicle about two and a half years ago something like that um, because I formerly was just running about a 50 mil lowering kit and I had a very nice set of Voss and wheels on it which I'll, I'll circle back to what what I was running before but uh, all of that had to be swapped out when we switched over to air ride because I was going to be lowering the suspension further but also with air ride you need to be able to air out to calibrate the system um, and run the system even if you don't want to run that low you need to be able to tuck your wheels into the arches the wheels that I'm currently running um, are the black ones which I'll throw a picture of the van now if you're new here these are 20 inch Cades Hera. Um, I'll come back to the load rating on them, but the offset and size, they're nine and a half inch wide all round, front and rear. So they're 20 by nine, and the offset on these wheels is ET38. So an offset is the distance from the center of the wheel, negative or positive, to the actual front of the rim. So this is something that plays a massive part in when you're choosing your wheels, no matter what you're doing, whether you're lowered, aired, or swamper, you know, because when you make your full lock turns, uh, even uh, on the tall vans, there's uh, an issue with being able to make your full lock from lock to lock and offset controls that really because the back of the wheel when you make your turn is, is, is going to be in a different position. Um, again, I got some software which I'll come on to shortly that would help you dial in your settings and understand what you're currently running and what you're expecting to run, um, which we'll come to shortly. So the offset of the black wheels is ET38. Though that offset with the tyre size that I'm running which the tyres are 255, 35, 20. Um, they're actually dedicated winter tyres on these black ones, but that, that's, I'm not going to get into that. It was more the sizes. So 255, which is your width, 35, which is the profile, by 20. That's what I'm running on an ET38 wheel right now in the, with the black wheels, and that fits just so when I air out on a stock air ride system so there's no further modifications made to this van because some guys do go further than what I've done it's, a, it's what we call a stock air ride system and th that wheel and tyre setup works on my van perfectly it will allow me to wear out 
and um, not catch. Um, obviously you can't move when you air out because the wheel literally sits on the inner arch when it's fully aired out just gently but it doesn't catch the side of the wing or the wing bolt in the front or anything in the rear. It's perfect but it only just fits. So if you had anything less than ET38 on that setup it's 100% it's going to cause an issue. Um, it's going to stick out of the arch or be too close to the arch to actually tuck in unless you start going further with modifications like ripping out more of the inner arch um, and doing all that kind of stuff. But to stay on track with the wheels and tyres, um, the other wheels that I run, the silver Navis wheels, which are Navis twin fives, um, they are slightly different as far as the offset goes. This look that you see now, these wheels are actually 20 by 9 again, and they are, I'm running again a 255 by 35 by 20 tyre. The offset of these wheels is ET42. So they actually stick into the arch slightly more than my black wheels do. And um, the Navis wheels have been specifically designed for the purpose I'm using them for. Um, the, they came from Transporter HQ, but Navis, I'm sure they, they distribute through other locations too. The wheel itself has been specifically designed from the ground up for a VW Transporter to meet load ratings, to meet offset wishes because they can, it, can, it can be used with a lowered van, it can be used with a raised van, or it can actually be used on an air ride system. So it seems to tick all of the boxes. And I would say that it seems like it's right on the sweet spot because I get um, a really great tuck. I have no issues with, with, with it rubbing on anything lock to lock. And I'm kind of happy I can, I can fit a 255 tire on the wheel with all of that being said, because um, the load rating that the tires that you'll be running will be um, dropping every time you drop width. So if you had a 245 or a 235 by 35, um, you're going to see the load rating of that tyre shrinking quite a lot. Um, now a few people will jump in there and say, well, you know, on a T32, you will not get the load rating on a 25 tyre, and that's true. So it's worth noting that if you're running a T32 for an, from an MOT perspective, and there's a lot of grey area here, but I, I'm going to say that the truth is, to clear that up, that they will fail you on a T32 if you are running less than a 103 a rated tyre. Um, so you need 103 or above. 102, no good. Um, that does limit the options right down. Um, and um, the way I get round that is that I actually install a different wheel and tyre on for the MOT rating. Um, some would say that's naughty, you know, uh, you're going to get into trouble with the insurance, etc. And yes, that's true. However, in my case, I've informed the insurance company because the use of this vehicle is not, I'm not taking to sight carrying, um, you know, bricks and things and using the T32 load rated side of it. Because these tyres, you've got to remember, they're designed to cover the weight of the van itself on the UK roads. Uh, uh, I'm sure if you're watching this outside the UK, you've probably got similar stories that the roads can be an issue. Um, the way they're maintained and stuff, if you've got low profile tyres, you, you, it doesn't take a lot to get right in trouble on a van. But um, the, the T32 van is designed for towing, um, you know, nearly a ton of, um, uh, towing large weight, I should say, and loading nearly a ton in the back, as well as the, the weight of the vehicle. Um, so that's why the rating of the tyres is important. If you're not running those levels of weight, then you can argue that if your insurance company would allow you to run a lower rated tyre for the uses that you're providing with it, um, and you've denoted all that, then you should be fine. However, you will still fail a UK MOT. Um, it's a fact. So you do need to keep that in mind if you're going to be running wheels like that, anything lower than um, a 103 tyre. Now, 
if you don't want to get into that and you just want to, you're just watching this video and thinking, I'm not running air right, I just want to lower the suspension a little bit, something like 50, 60 mil and get this sort of look. Now this was the way the van looked in the first setup that I was running when the van was pretty new and I was one running a completely different set of wheels and tyres. The wheels and tyres you see in these images are 20 inch by 9 on the front and 20 inch by 10 and a half on the rear. Something called deep concave, they're Vossen wheels and the, the look that that gives you is something known as staggered. So it's a staggered offset because the offset on the rear wheels was ET42 and the offset on those front wheels was ET35. Now, because this vehicle wasn't running air right and was never going to be tucking into the arches, even with weight in the back, um, the rear wheels would stick out to an extent that's just legal, look great. I personally love this look. And um, you may say, well, why did I deviate from it? But I just wanted to lower it a little bit more. And air ride was the option, so I didn't throw comfort out the window and stuff like that. But when I circle back to this look, I was always really, really fond of these wheels and tyres. And the tyres that were on these wheels was a 275 3520. Now, it's very easy to get that tyre to hit the load ratings that you need on any of the T uh, transporter or van derivatives. Um, so that was a major plus. So if you're thinking this all sounds a bit chaotic, I don't want to get into the realms of not running the right rated tyres for my vehicle, then this part of the video is for you because if you want to take on 20 inch wheels, you can do that quite happily um, by running this, this setup. So you've got 20 inch by 9 inch wheels on the front. You can just install 20 inch by 9 inch wheels all round. The only difference will be the rears won't stick out quite as far, not a problem. But they will happily then seat a 275 35 20 inch tyre. And that load rating will come with that tyre. So you will find that you will be above 103 happily. Um, so if that's the look that you're going for, then maybe that will give you clarity that you'll be quite happy. You'll have no issues with your insurance. I think you still need to let them know you've ch changed the wheels just for safety because um, you spend a lot of money on wheels. You can't all make sure if there was ever an issue that you could replace them or the insurance company wouldn't have an issue. Um, but the MOT side of things will be absolutely spot on. All vans have the same issue, whether it's a transporter or a Ford or whatever it is, there's load ratings, they need, they're important for MOT. Um, some of the transporters are not rated to the same levels of a T32. T30, T28 have lower ratings. Um, I, if you have a T30 or a T28, you might want to look into what is the load rating, because maybe then with a 255 tyre on an air ride system, you will get the load rating you need to pass through the MOT. Um, the only other kind of t wheels and tyres I haven't mentioned this far in is um, the Swamper look. Um, Navis, who I meant the, the brand I mentioned before, I've seen that they offer um, Swamper style wheels. I really do like the way they look when you actually kick the van out completely with you know the snorkel and the light bar and the raised suspension Swamper look with the big chunky tyres, looks great. I think you've kind of got to go all the way rather than putting those wheels on uh, the other type of van. And personally, that's my personal opinion. But I do like that look. I don't entirely think it is the kind of vehicle I'd go for for an off-roading setup. Um, I mean, maybe the four motions better. I've never had the opportunity to, to drive one, but Personally, I like the uh, sport van look, um, which I think is obvious, um, as you can see behind me. It's a, it's a look that I've enjoyed for four years and I'm not likely to deviate. Now, there's a website that is extremely helpful with engaging the size of wheels and tyres that you might be thinking of. If you've never heard of this website, it's called willtheyfit.com coming up on screen now. 
You can punch in the wheels and tyre setup and offset that is currently on your vehicle and then you can key in the new wheels that you're thinking of. And this, is, this relates to any vehicle, any vehicle at all. And you'll see on this diagrams where the wheels and tyres are going to differ. Height, ratio, rolling ratio, width, offset. This website is, is, is a really big help with just giving you the peace of mind that what uh, you might be about to embark on will fit. Uh, hence the name, will they fit. But yeah, go check that website out. Um, you, it's, it's, you don't need to download anything. Just get on that website and key in that information. If you've not been aware of that before, I think that will be very helpful to you. If this video has been any help, um, then give it a like and a share. If you know anybody else it might help, share it out on the various social media platforms, etc. because it really helps the channel grow and I'll continue to make more um, uh, videos of this nature. But yeah, I just wanted to fill the gap that I get asked a lot about my wheels and tires. So I thought I'd ramble on for a little while about what I'm running, why I'm running it, what I used to run, and uh, hopefully it might save you some headaches and um, you may be able to take something from this video. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one real soon. A lot of exciting content coming to the uh, channel. And so I'll see you in that video real soon. Take care.